Hi, Kishka. How are you? <laughs> she likes to roll around in the dirt. She's also turning very orange. That's not a discoloration of your monitor. That's my cat turning bright orange. I've done some research. It could be an amino acid thing. It could be a liver problem thing. It could be she's out in the sun more. It could be gray hair for on a black cat. It could be a multitude of things. I don't know why, but my cat is turning ginger. And I can't really afford to take her to the vet right now. But um, These are the squash. I don't know what's going on with that one. It's turning weird yellow and green. And um... I probably didn't harden them off as well as I would have liked, and this one is just really not happy. The rest of them are doing okay. They've got some, you know, telltale obvious uh, damage from pests like slugs, things like that. The carrots are kind of perking up a little. I haven't had any uh, new seeds pop up yet. The broccoli's perking back. The, the peas, that one there, is doing better. The beans, eh, I don't think they like being outside so much. But I've got some new beans planted as well that I put out the same day. The fennel is looking a little happier now that it's not falling on itself. Um, the potatoes are really happy. The potatoes are going like a madhouse. That little one there, that was just a super tiny little thing that I almost considered throwing out because it just wasn't doing well. And the hill, the hill right there, we have an erosion problem. I came out yesterday in the hope, well, it was raining yesterday. It was very, very wet. And I came out here to the hill and I noticed it was still completely dry. So I grabbed a watering can, <laughs> even though it was raining out, I looked like an idiot. And I thought maybe the holly was keeping water off the hill. Um, it's not keeping water off the hill. It's actually rolling off the hill, the water. It's no water seems to be going into it. Obviously it must be getting some water because there are actually a few things starting to pop up. So if I go come over here, there's like, you know, like that's coming up, but that's probably a weed. And then you know, we've got another, another couple, I don't know where they are right now, but um, yeah, over here though, I've got, all that there, all that here. Of course, Brian says that Kishka's also been using it as a litter box, which doesn't make me very happy. So, I don't know, I can't move these cucumbers now. They're pretty much there, but I've, I'm afraid that they might be, can, they might not survive. So I need to go to a shop and get some more um, gherkin seed. And, um, yeah, that's kind of sad. But, hey Brian. Good morning. How are you? You alright? Yeah. What you doing? Uh, this is clover. Yeah, he, he is not a fan of clover. He gets... Kishka. <laughs> she has to be around us whenever we're outside. Strawberries all over the grass. <laughs> and strawberries are still doing pretty good. Got Lots of strawberries. They're not very big. Lots of them are pretty small. But still they'll be good. I'm gonna come over here. I haven't looked over here yet today either. Oh look! I've got a morning glory coming up. That's the first one I've seen. Yay! So that's good. Oh, I've got a couple more. Yay. Hmm, I wonder if I should separate those two out. Anyway, and there's something coming up here. Oh, that could be a weed too. And sift this one as well. And those are some quite likely dying gazania. And here's another morning glory. It's funny that the rain really must have um, moved some of the seeds around. Because I didn't... There's stuff showing up in places I didn't put it. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's... Hi, Kishka. I was going to say that's a garden update, but um, Kishka had to come and say hi first. Alright, I'm going to go make some coffee. Say bye, Brian!
He said bye, but you couldn't hear him.